Yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. <laughs> Good to see y'all this afternoon. Today we talking about everybody and their mama who had cash shit to talk about the Disneyland family fight with the black people, particularly for all the coons and all the little sideline people that want to chime in and have something to say about it. Because while that was going on, there was two big major white fights right in the eyes of everybody. It happened on the same day, same general locale, same state. At a major fucking event. You know what I mean? A different state, I should say, than California, but same state and a major fucking event. And we saw people like Joe Rogan. He was giggling it up. So this is, you know, partly to you, Joe Rogan, for your selective journalism. Matter of fact, for all the countless white boys that came out, you know what I'm saying? All the white dudes that came out making commentaries on this. Uh, definitely for all you cornball motherfuckers. And of course the coon ass niggas. What y'all forgot while y'all was doing all this land basting of the Disneyland fight. It's like I said, two other incidences of white people actually fighting during and after a major league baseball game that jumped off same Saturday, same Saturday as the Disneyland fight, and y'all ain't have zero to say about it. Whole week, zero to say about it. So that's why I'm here to beat you over the head with and say, motherfucker, what the fuck are you talking shit about? And it's also, like I said, it's all the black folk. You know, we got black people in the world that do black ain't shit TV. This is to the people that do black ain't shit TV too. You know what I mean? You Negroes ain't have zero to say about it. I ain't have zero to say about these two incidents I'm about to touch on. Because what can we say, man? Y'all still stuck on that white supremacist IV. Still eating what massa feeds you about you. And you never try to uncover massa dirt. I mean, you never try to cover a mass of people dirt. <laughs> never try to make them look bad like I do on my channel. I try to make them look bad on my channel. We're going to get to y'all. But yeah, that's y'all problem, man. Massa find something every week for y'all to load about black people and y'all eat the shit up. So I'm going to present these little two little blips that all y'all motherfuckers ignored since y'all ignored them. And the first situation y'all probably heard about, it was the viral fight. At the family-friendly Cubs game. The Cubs and White Sox game. At America's pastime. Motherfucking baseball. Family fun event. And it was between a gang of white chicks. We we'll use the words they use to describe everything that we do. It was a gang. A white gang. They were violent, unruly, uncivilized, animalistic. White chicks in a gang, a gang of white chicks, and they were brutalizing each other, goddamn. And they were brutalizing the people that were trying to break them up, too. It wasn't no stopping. And it was punching security, kicking security. But at the Disneyland fight, shit, didn't no security get punched? Didn't no security get kicked? All right. And like I said, these animals went on a Rampage. One girl grabbed the cuffs of the security as he was trying to put the cuffs on her friends. She grabbing the motherfucking shit. Real violent, unruly, animalistic, white gang activity. Alright? People's in the crowd at one point talking about Jerry, 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 Jerry. I mean, <laughs> shit was crazy. And get a load of how certain outlets were actually touching on this particular viral video. There was a few blips out just I, the way they thin down the broadcasting of this shit was so funny man 
and MSN, not MSNBC, but MSN, it was like there's a brawl in the stands that guaranteed rate field at Saturday's Cubs White Sox game. I just read the whole fucking article, y'all. That was the entire fucking article. Then above it, they had the video. But that was the article they put out. And Yahoo had the same little... It's basically a title, it seemed like. But they made it into... That's the story. Like, you got the title, you got the video, and you got the story. That's the story. A sentence. <laughs> right? Shit went viral. <laughs> Y'all got one sentence. Really, really soft padding it. Way to soft pad it, MSN. Way to soft pad it, motherfucking Yahoo. So you see how white supremacist society trying to play it. They didn't make any arrests from what the Chicago police say. So they ducking this. And we trying to knock their heads off in new black media about this. The second fight people skipped over. And... Did all kind of cartwheels to get around to holler at the Disneyland shit. Was actually after the same Cubs White Sox game. I want to put this guy who got involved and said, I want to put his name out there because they gave his information. His name is Michael Kurek Jr. of Hobart, Indiana. And the story says this I'll just pull out the pertinence. Story says, a police sergeant breaking up a fight found a police commander at the bottom of a pile of people punching and kicking at someone Saturday. Michael Curick, 31, of Hobart, is accused of putting the commander in a chokehold. And the commander was attempting to arrest someone else on the scene on suspicion of resisting law enforcement. <laughs> the officers were working security. After a bus returned to the 1700 block of East 37th Avenue in Hobart from a Crosstown Classic baseball game between the Chicago White Sox and the Cubs. Crosstown Classic. I almost said that right. Crosstown. According to the police and Lake Criminal Court records. Most of the people in the group appeared to be intoxicated. Uh, the old, they were intoxicated. Yeah. The commander had some swelling to his face. Wasn't treated for any injuries. Correct was charged Monday with felony strangulation and two misdemeanor counts of resisting law enforcement. So, yada yada yada. So they really ball cradling this guy, really holding his nutsack on this guy, talking about oh everybody was drunk. Yeah, man, fuck that motherfucker. So, all you need girls spent your energy this week talking about the Disneyland fight happened on the same day. So I'm going to say this shit happened on the same day. I'm going to put it to y'all like this, man. Anybody sitting up talking shit about Disneyland all, all this week and making a fuss about it, y'all ain't shit. I mean, we know the white supremacists ain't shit for reporting it the way they do, but, you know, they're doing it for propaganda reasons, for reasons of setting a tone of how people should respond to black people. And how people should esteem black people. It's just cut and dry, militaristic, war game type shit with them, right? With the Negroes trying to chime in and all that shit, that's just self-hate and fame chasing. Let's go ahead and call that shit what the fuck it really is. Motherfuckers is drum beating the hate on their own. Quicker than they'll look outside of themselves to drum the hate. <laughs> I mean, that's some psychotic shit. And with these quick to diss black people Negroes, let me get this off my screen. You know, these type of people, we just got to take notes on how they move. You know, white supremacist society, they can present almost anything to them that a black person do. That's so-called wrong quote unquote wrong and they get to running bases <laughs> they get to running bases running bases <laughs> and in running bases you'll notice these type of people get to basically copycatting white supremacist society's feelings about things start 
Superman caping for what in their mind they believe are white supremacist society's feelings about a situation. Right? Like, now how you trying to appropriate the mind of motherfuckers that hate black people and run a regime that's solely for the purpose of instigating hate for black people? Because they owe us money for reparations and they want to recruit as many people as they can to dislike the people that they owe the money to type shit, right? <laughs> but motherfuckers try to almost copycat how they think white supremacists would disparage and talk down to black people on some shit. In the aftermath of something wrong that black people may have did, right? That shit is retarded. That's retarded of you social media niggas. Saw a lot of that crap on social media, and you know, I get it for the black ain't shit TV niggas. Y'all just looking for the immediate come up. I know y'all game. Y'all looking for the quick hits, the quick views, the viral shit. But some of y'all are looking for that pat on the back for finger wagging black society shit. Some of y'all looking for that shit. But <laughs> you still got to be deeper than that. Y'all got to be deeper thinkers than that. I don't care if you a dumb coon ass motherfucker out here. Trying to get your weight up in the content game. I don't give a fuck. I'm putting this shit to y'all too, man. Y'all still got to reserve space in y'all's mind to document how this white supremacist regime work for real. You know what I mean? Look at how this regime operates. Because the white supremacists are in a position of inflicting injustice upon black people. Based off how much they can brainwash the public to think negatively about us. Y'all take that shit for granted, man. That shit is what's going on at all motherfucking times. So, y'all contributing to it is only making the X fatter on your black ass back. You understand? It's making the X fatter on your black ass back too. Fucker. This is a... Nazi ass regime. This is a real Nazi style regime. They use propaganda to make people want the death of people. It's just that motherfucking real. It's some real Euro barbaric shit that we're dealing with. And you coons ain't seeing the machine for how sensitive the machine really is in my eyes. And how easy it is to make the machine just snap. And flip on black people at a moment's notice. Y'all shouldn't be so programmed by massa. So programmed by massa man. To where you want to feel chastising black people as quickly as y'all niggas do. <laughs> to where y'all want to feel embarrassing black people in some way as your life work on the daily. As quickly as you motherfuckers do, right? That's some abnormal shit. So, the moral of the story is, yo, y'all motherfuckers, all of y'all, y'all some haters, I want to say, all y'all getting your giggles off, all y'all some haters, I'm going to say that, and as far as black society is concerned, yo, y'all motherfuckers that I'm talking about, at some point, man, y'all got to have it on y'all mind to lose y'all's appetite for self-debasing shit as a people you know we gotta lose our appetite for self-debasing if ever it comes up you know i mean but then in the next breath you know you motherfuckers don't got no appetite for seeing it happen for other groups right that's the shit i got a problem with i mean with other groups it's all we're talking about what them white boy doing that ain't going to go viral like clowning on black people. That ain't going to go viral. I don't want to talk about what them Latinos are doing. That ain't going to go viral like me clowning on black folk. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So we need to be careful what we give stage to. Is my thing. And that's the game. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So y'all know what I'm dropping. Don't forget to check out my Teespring. I'm pushing that Make America Pay Again. Every time y'all see me, I ain't finna quit. Make America Pay Again. Like it old. It old and 
we expect collection. That's all we doing. I'm gonna get it, y'all. 